pieces coming from immigration issues it was in 2010 and the piece was it is called defense and it's an allegory the concept of what is it in the border of mexico and united states which is basically it's a fence and at the same time the word says defense where it's like we or people are defending yourself from some an enemy or for someone. We made a fence, like handmade fence you can tell. Um, we portrayed people working in a farm field. So we try to question, question the audience about what is it really behind our food or the collection of food or how do we get food in our plate. I think mostly immigration and the way how we don't even see them. They are like invisible people for practically all of us. At some point we try to say thank you to them. And our questions are about the working condition of the these immigrate immigrants or migrants. Um, and after that we created the Garden of Opportunities. That was the name of the piece, and we focus on children. Through our research about the working conditions of these immigrants, we found out that many, many children are pushed to work or has been in the need to work uh, with, the, with their parents in order to help them and, and try to get out, of the, uh, get out of poverty or actually get, get some money for living. And, most of the time, the children have to stop, they stop going to school. Uh, it's very, they're very difficult for them to graduate, um, and they ended up working in the farm as their parents, and the whole circle cycle begins again every every year, every uh, every generation, I guess. Um, we don't want to judge uh, anybody or any particular way. We just got, wanted to make awareness to um, observers, to to people who can see the work and question themselves a little bit more about um, other human beings. Um, they quit the school and now they're working in the farm. Children from in South America, Peru, Brazil. I think it's all right now in many, many countries. We create and we design like flower patterns and people. And we started to create this kind of a three-dimensional um, mural kind of thing. And the work got much more complex and bigger every time. We create the same, different scenes with the same concept, but um, every time it's a different challenge. Sometimes we become more a little bit more uh, abstract or much more playful, and we focus on uh, Nancy's uh, original flower textile design that she has been for years translated into many different forms, and that this kind of uh, imaginary fabric goes from walls to floors to uh, sculptures. So to see our work on the floor in the most interesting place in the world, mixed with the big buildings. It was amazing, amazing feeling. The work that is not about uh, the negative sides of the same mm -hmm. system. Yeah, we, get, we try to get the positive things. A special kind of homage all the time and to the work or to the workers of the land. Uh, also to to just make awareness, to make people think, to try to make them a little less egocentric, to so just think a little bit about other people's lives. We integrate her work as a painter and my work as a sculptor and came very interesting. And then we jump 
to the three dimensional. The piece is called Lighting the Road. As we learn more about injustice, selfishness, greed, in every community and every country, we thinking about how we are as a human race in this planet. And it's important to us the work we are doing. We don't know when would we be next, and but I'm very sure it will be always be developed as something better, more complex in concept and techniques, and it will always change our thinking and our lives. Thank you.